Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome. Welcome to Jim's 5am club and this morning I come to you from uh, down here at the rocks and I'm just going to I'm just going to uh, take you all on a walk and talk style of vlog and we'll uh, touch on a topic and uh, see where it takes us. It's springtime in Sydney it's a beautiful time of year and uh, although it's a little bit gloomy and overcast today it doesn't uh, deter us from our gym's 5am club we're going to uh, head off to uh, the other side of Circular Quay and just check things out and touch on a topic today a very interesting topic so a number of years ago let me think when it was 1995 I think it was I attended a, a seminar I was working for Telstra and I was working with a number of people there in the sales team and they were all excited they were all excited they were all fired up because they were going to a seminar and I asked them you know what sort of seminar is it and they said oh I know it's uh, an Anthony Robbins seminar he's coming out to Australia and we've all got tickets and it's an absolutely it's an absolute buzz and something you shouldn't miss so I asked a few more questions and it all sounded pretty interesting so I sorted myself out and bought a ticket and even back then it was an expensive sort of uh, exercise I think I paid 650 or 700 dollars back in the mid 90s which in today's money would be you know a few thousand dollars but the uh, seminar was called uh, Unleash the Power Within Weekend and uh, it was based on his book Awaken the Giant Within and one of the highlights of course of the weekend was you actually got to do a fire walk where you walked on fire which is the sort of stuff which captured my interest as a young uh, young male and uh, the rest is history but uh, I remember at that seminar um, hearing Anthony Robbins say something which was really really powerful and he said that uh, when you look back over your life usually the worst day of your life ends up becoming the best day of your life and I sat and thought about it and I said to myself how bloody profound is that so let's say it again when you look back over your life you figure out that the worst day of your life actually ends up being the best day of your life because it officially becomes and formally becomes the beginning of your new life because from that point on you say enough is enough and you say well from from this point on I decide to do X or Y and I will no longer put up with whatever's been upsetting us or uh, disappointing us in our lifetimes so uh, how do we use this it's quite a powerful concept just to think that uh, depending on how you see life and depending on how you you, 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 um, uh, you spin things and how you look at things you can actually flip negatives into positives and use it as a springboard as something to empower you and to propel you forward because uh, the day we make a decision any decision is a day that we uh, take action and as we covered the other day the more massive the action the more massive the outcomes and potentially the more massive the rewards but also the more massive the uh, penalties can be depending on what sort of action you take and uh, how you manage how you manage things anyway let's continue to walk and talk and uh, check out Sydney it's a Friday as you can see there's not too many people around 
Normally this time of year, the place is crowded, but uh, with COVID-19, the city is uh, like a ghost town. I feel for all the people who've got businesses in town because it's going to be tough for them. But uh, we'll get through this. But uh, let's go back on our topic there. Um, so, and as, as Anthony Robbins said, that the, the key, the key is to make decisions, to decide. And he also mentioned that the word decision actually means to cut away from, to cut away from something you've done in the past and to look to a new future. So for young people, how do we use this? We keep on harking on this, that uh, we basically need to get fed up with uh, how things are. One of the worst traps to fall into is the uh, trap of, um, of not caring or not giving a, a, a rat's ass, for example, about a situation that you're in. And you just keep on putting up for it with it, hoping that it's going to get better, hoping that it's going to improve, and hoping that your life is going to, uh, to change. But the reality is, is unless you make a massive change, unless you decide here and now to action that change, your life isn't going to change all that much, and you're going to continue along that merry path of disappointment, of pain, of suffering, and uh, I think Anthony Robbins said the, uh, the, the, the definition, the definition of insanity is to continue doing the same thing and to expect different results, which I absolutely cracked up laughing when I heard that, heard that because it's just so true. Now you can't go through life hoping that things get better, even by praying you still need to take action because as we've learned time and time again God helps those who help themselves so uh, the key message the key message from that Anthony Robbins seminar that I went to back in 95 was that we need to take bold action bold action we need to decide and act and do it immediately with passion with confidence and most importantly it needs to be bold you can't be timid you can't be timid in change because change requires you to get over a hurdle over a hump and to break free of the gravitational forces which hold you in that negative state in that bad pattern of behavior so uh, once again we can't just wish ourselves better or wish ourselves the greatness. We've got to get out there, we've got to get on our horse, we're going to grab the sword and we're going to sever, sever the knots, sever the ties with whatever it is that is holding us back and weighing us down. Anyway, I think that's, that's the gist of it. So how do young people use this? You need to be basically assessing your life and reassessing your life on a regular basis don't just drift because by drifting you'll think that uh, things are changing but in actual fact they're staying the same you're just imagine imagining from time to time that things may be getting getting better but uh, you know five years ten years twenty years from now you'll be in the same position you'll have the same uh, complaints You'll be, you know, you'll be just as disappointed as what you've always been and you'll be looking back and saying why didn't I do what I needed to do back when I could do it, when I had the support structure around me, when I had my youth, when I had energy and when I had the confidence and capability of making that giant leap of faith. So. Uh, Thank you very much once again for joining me on Jim's 5am club. Let's finish off with a positive uh, affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great to my friends and family. Stay connected, stay relevant, 
and most importantly let's take that advice that uh, we need to get to the lowest point in our life in order to bounce and bounce back hard so uh, you know don't be fearful of uh, tough times use it as a springboard use it as a stepping stone use it as an action point to say from now on I will never ever put up with A, B and C from now on I'm decided this is the life that I'm going to live and this is how I'm going to live it and basically just do it turn your back on your old you turn your back on your disempowered your weak your doormat uh, style of you and welcome with your, with both arms the new empowered strong you and basically go out there and make the most of your life make the most of the opportunities make the most of your network and of the connections you have and basically live the life that uh, that you want to live with God's help of course and to uh, you know, to get to the end of your life and to say well I've, I did it I did it my way and uh, I've enjoyed the journey remembering that the journey is more important than the destination so once again as Anthony Robbins says decide and act and when you look back over your life you'll be thankful to see that the lowest point or the worst day of your life ends up becoming your best day take care to everybody and uh, wishing you well and we'll chat again on Jim's 5am club signing off from a gloomy but a beautiful Friday here in Sydney. Yasas, ciao and bye for now.